<laughs> so, I'm hoping to bring in just the worst type of people from Twitch. Hey, Twitch, I'm live. Uh, <laughs> I'm here with uh, Harsh. Hey, that's me. That's true. That is him. And we're gonna we're gonna do this little game called Deep Rock Galactic. Not sure if you ever heard of it. Um, we've only done it uh, almost every week for a few months now. Oh, I would <laughs> I would love to play this. Yeah, let's have you run the lobby. Let's see how you yeah, like it. Yeah, I'm the big honcho. Yeah, as that's... I always say. Oh shit, <laughs> it's the big honcho. Um, <laughs> that's what they call me. Do you want? You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna be anywhere. scout. Anytime. I was gonna ask for your permission to do this bad idea, but I've already done it. <laughs> permission, uh, <laughs> oh, permission okay. denied. Permission, oh, okayed then, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Oh, a vampire. Nah, I'm not responsible enough for that. Vampire, oh. <laughs> I got yeah, my. Yeah, I remember to actually use your melee. Hey, I do it sometimes, allegedly, even. Ooh, Volt, volt Tax Stun Sweeper. A, a boomerang that stuns things. That seems really dumb. Sure, that'll be the grenade I try. And then I got my little ping. My M1000. Ping. 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 It makes... I, I remember the M1 Grand being like one of the better guns in one of the like call of duties one of the old call of duties where it's just it's like that's why it only had seven shots in it and it was horrendous to fire in exchange it was like if you get close to their upper body that motherfucker is gone 20 <laughs> <laughs> percent more more cat when mining what do you think i am a dumb idiot come on horrendous drink anyway um what do you want to start with um, Just like something. what mission do you have to do? I got something. I think I have a keep it simple ass mission. Let me see what, what it mission is. Do I have? Do I even have a mission? Wait. Oh wait, we both have the same mission, I think. Oh, and it's actually okay, Morkite. That's... Wait, do you want to drink the bad Morkite thing I just dunked on? Yeah. Oh Drop shit! Is ready. Time to it's leave. time to drink. Oh. Don't spend it all at now once. I feel like a dick. Uh. Look, now we know. How many of these things do I have? I have four. How many of these red things do you have? I have four. All right, I'm taking this one then. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> Normally you do, but I'm always poor on those things. I always have like five at most. Wow. You're such a good host, Harsh. <laughs> I'm only drinking this in the ship. All right, all right, hang on. I'm still drinking Jesus. Can a man not drink his dark Morkite original taste? <laughs> Don't dunk on my boy Lloyd. I I will have you know I will dunk on anyone. I have I these like hands like are for all ages. <laughs> Indiscriminately hitting children the, and adults. The alike. fists of justice <laughs> do not discriminate. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. I'm saying all shit because my camera's doing the thing again. Feel like we're digging our own grave. It's oh, lagging out. Oh. It's okay. You have a slideshow of yourself for one day. Yeah, I just hang on. You make sure I don't die or whatever. I'm gonna check my uh, GPU. I should probably leave this thing before I get sent. Oh! It's the best start in gaming history. We've been blessed. Yeah. <laughs> And just go make oh, I forgot that here. in order to scope in, I don't actually scope in. I just hold the gun button longer. That's bold. Yeah, the gun button longer. I too hold the gun button longer. I foresee a lot of shooting in your future. Oh, I've com whatever game I've been playing last is ruining my ability to think at the moment, like and use the right buttons. What game were you playing? It must be God of War, because I've played a lot of God of War recently. Like, uh, just a heinous amount of God of War 2, more God. More Here War. Comes the pest control. Or it Let's could be go. Overwatch. Or have Fortnite. You have you Sorry. been playing Overwatch recently? Did, uh... I've played, like... So, the big thing right now for me is to tank my MMR. Uh, so that way I can hang out <laughs> with my friends. 
Uh, because being gold one is too high for us. I know, I know. Um, this is a weird glowing red thing that I just, I can't help but just check out. Um, I'm sorry, the shiny red thing actually broke my brain. Anyway, so I've been playing people I'm ass at, which means I'm playing people that like everyone else, like you're supposed to be good at at higher levels. I also just found a fucking data cube or some shit. Oh shit, one of those things. Me. Yeah. It's an air roar, so that's pretty cool. How's just that make you? all the shit. This is the greatest start of all time. It is a really good start. Jeez. Oh my god, we already have enough for a resupply. Yeah. Gaming. Yeah. If it, anyone sees me just stutter stepping, Go it's not ya. purposeful. Uh, the game just fucking hates me. Um, Seems like a skill issue. Uh, yeah, thanks, bud. Real supportive. Anyway, so I've been <laughs> playing a little bit of that. I've been learning how to play Ash, and then when I'm winning too much, I switch to Widow to really ruin my team's day. Um, and so now my win rate is, I think, one win, seven losses, so that should hopefully knock me down by the time I get wins. <laughs> much. I'm sure everyone on my team's like, oh, thank God this guy's so ass. <laughs> if only he was asser. They're probably all begging. Where is that damn you? Um... Oh, yeah, we also tried, uh, Fortnite House now has a ranked thing. Suck on this, you oh? nature. Yeah, you know, it's, it definitely exists. How are you, how are you doing now? Well, so it's Tori and I, and Tori's very, um, objective driven. I see. She doesn't really respect the whole shooting the people to get kills thing. She's a lot more interested in, like, high five enough bees in order to get 20,000 XP. <laughs> so we're a good combo because like I'll be stuck fighting three different people even though it's duos and she'll be like I just found the queen bee's super hive and I'm like I'm fucking dead <laughs> my ass is grass this place is almost my so we make a good team um yeah that's yeah yin and yang um right because like Cat's a, a, a gamer, arguably just as bad of a, I mean, also a gamer like you. So like, <laughs> it's different, you know? Yeah, she, she, she's a big Overwatch grinder. It's not my, uh, I, I see, I don't, I don't really play, like at this point, I think my chill game has been just running around Valorant and shooting random things and just not thinking, um, which means I get, I get killed a lot, but it doesn't really matter. Maybe mm. to my team, but it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it has no effect on the game. I mean, I guess for everyone else playing, but like, it doesn't affect what I'm doing, which is checking out the map. <laughs> I'm just like chilling and like, there's there's one, um, they added a brown character, okay. And look, I'm, I'm not like, I'm, a, I'm not always like, usually the brown characters are really token and boring. But like this guy, he's really funny. So I just like playing him even though he's kind of mid-tier. Um, so like people get really upset at me the instant I click on him. What? <laughs> wow, I can't all... believe Valorant is harnessing racism. You've heard it here first. <laughs> That's definitely what I just heard, not clickbait. <laughs> He just has water abilities, and he like trolls all the other characters. Oh. And it, it, when he talks, it's really funny. He's like, um, I, I just heard a new voice line today. There's like this like goth-looking character in the sure. game, who's like got black makeup, and um, like all her abilities are, are like quote unquote nightmare abilities. She like summons wraiths oh, and shit. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, but just my Timmy's first OC. Got it. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And then uh, one of his lines was like, ah, I see, this is what happens when you give the goth kid nightmare abilities. And I was like, holy shit. That rules. So savage. No, so, just no, uh, no prisoners. Yeah, you just exactly. stay in this hole and fight everything? Yep, I'm building the turrets. How's that missing? Oh yeah, light. Let's fix that. I don't know what my grenades are. Oh right, it's those boomerangs. Why'd I do that? I'll do anything for a bit. <laughs> That's gonna be on my gravestone. Honestly, kind of a mood though. 
Yeah, like a dumb mood. <laughs> a mood before moments of disaster. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the that Overwatch 2? They scrapped all the uh, all the PVE content. I have seen that because Reddit's been losing their collective shit. <laughs> and I gotta say, I forgot they were ever gonna do that. So it affects really? me zero percent, baby. Uh, <laughs> I have the memory of a dead goldfish. I was like, what? <laughs> this shit was gonna have E? I thought it had only had P. Think you could kill me. Well, think again. <laughs> so I. Didn't care. <laughs> and everyone's like, no, but the loot boxes are gone. And it's like, brother, I forget their skins. I'm, I'm over here like, what's wrong with Torbjorn? <laughs> I'm like, I'm the ideal consumer. If a video game can get onto me, like, like latch into my brain, I'll just play it forever. <laughs> like, I see, I see. You mean pure garbage. I'm just not, I'm just not the correct person for this. It's funny too because I'm so artsy about like movies and stuff. Like I actually I like movies that are art. But when it comes mm -hmm. to games, I'm like, I'm fine if the game is like if it's true if it's a literal skinner box, I'm like, yes, I'm the rat, let me in. <laughs> I see, I see. So you're the uh like are you the same way with like food and shit like that? I think the rest of my house would say that, and I wouldn't. <laughs> but I think I'm probably wrong. <laughs> like, I definitely have stages for food. And I just rate garbage differently, you know? Like, a Domino's can be its own 7 out of 10 um, True. by being a Domino's, even though it's, like, objectively one of the worst pizzas a human being can make. Um, oh, don't, you diss, don't you diss on Domino's like this. <laughs> okay, I've just been told by my own chat. Patrick says any, any, everything that's edible is, like, an 8 out of 10. That's not true, but it's truer than it should be, probably. <laughs> Where, it, like, inedib like things that are inedible are, ed and by that I mean like too icky or actually inedible are anywhere from zero to three. So like, the rest of the ten point scale has a lot of room, you know? I see, I see, a lot of wiggle. Like, like just some bread is probably like a five, like. That's that's, pretty, that seems appropriate, though. It's like, and I mean, like, I'm not talking like a good sourdough. I'm talking like the concept of oh, free wait, ass on. bread <laughs> is like a five. Some good bread. Like, <laughs> I revoke my statement. <laughs> like a good, like, baguette or something's already at a 6.5. I see. Without I just, geez. in in chat, <laughs> bread is a two from Tristan, the person who was just dunking on me for my overrating. Because she wants, like, exciting things or whatever. I don't. Like, I don't really care how the dopamine dopamine hits my brain or the serotonin. I don't care if it was because of it was foie gras or if it was because of, like, a ch cheddar cheese block I put in my mouth. Like, it, it's all the same dopamine. I see. I see, like, I I don't... Yeah, I don't care that much about food. Yeah, I, I will eat, you know, as long as it's eatable, um, I will eat. Based. For sustenance. Um, I like good, not that I don't like good food, like I will go out of my way to find good food, yeah, but course. it's not like a priority. Like if I don't get good food, I'm not upset. Well, it's oh. funny cause like, I really like cooking and I like making like difficult and fun things, but I'm also like, that doesn't mean I'm gonna hate on the OGs, the classics, the chicky nugs. Like, do you think that's a Boy Scout thing? Remember, Maybe that's a Boy Scout thing. That might have been a Boy Scout thing that just completely ruined my concept to have standards. Cause I'm like, I mean, oh no, man, I'm not puking. Him. This shit's <laughs> rules. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like now that you've mentioned it, <laughs> I was like trying to think of like where our mentalities fall, like why they're so in line. I'm like you know, oh, yeah. Scouts actually kind of changed I, how I think about food. <laughs> I think that's actually it. Like. <laughs> it's just like, I ain't puking, am I? And then I high yeah, five. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I got No, 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 you're fine. Yeah, because, like, you know, you just had, like, an 11th grader who's never touched a pan in his life actually cook you eggs. And if the eggs aren't raw, you're like, all right, good enough. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you know what, man? You even, like, salted that. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. I've seen better, but, like, I've seen a lot worse from you earlier today. <laughs> So, I'll take it. 
<laughs> anyway, are we good to? Ooh, don't, me. don't worry, I have, I'm gonna throw out a hundred little boomerangs. I swear they do damage. <laughs> yeah, let's just crack this thing and go home. I don't yeah. see any special objectives. Oh. Uh, was it me? Do we even do a reload? No. I was like, what? Fuck no way right now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick asked me how many times have I puked from the food my scouts have fed me I don't know probably only like two or three times yeah I'd say maybe maybe twice where it was which like is pretty good because I had a seven year career in voices like I was all and I was there for most of the trips like I was I was a leader yeah granted I also cooked a lot of the food to make it edible but like my scouts still had to do that stuff sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I actually have a story about pancakes. Um, uh -oh. Which is like a good sign about the edibility of that, I'm sure. Would you like to see? Hang on, I'm going to try and do something about that. I don't know how to get to our... Do you all mind? I'm looking at the map. Extreme. Wait, where the hell? Yeah, I don't know how to get there. Uh... Oh, we have to go up and back. So up there, I just sent oh, a flare see, up that way. way. It's just okay. Ah, I could have gone better. Where did you go? Are you dead? I went down and then I went up. Okay. But now I'm I'm at the part where I'm going up. Yeah, story about pancakes isn't really a good sign for pancakes because they're not a particularly storied uh, food. food. So anyway, yeah. POV, I'm 14. And holding together a Boy Scout troop with twine and sheer stubbornness. Um, sure. Because we're like a boy-led troop, which means like I have a lot more control than I should over what the hell we do and how we do it. Um, so, it's two of my scouts are in a tiffy. Um, and so I had to separate them and like, you know, have one-on-ones with them and be like, Hey, why are you being a piece of shit? Stop that. <laughs> Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, very exactly that, actually. Let's just leave. This place sucks. <laughs> um, so I had to separate those two, and then I had to delegate um, cooking to some other folks. But it was fine. I had my, like, my assistant leader was taking over, whatever. It should have been fine. Um... I'm talking to the kid and he's like, yeah, well, he hit me and blah, blah, And I'm like, yeah, and that doesn't, you, you shouldn't be a child, though. You're older <laughs> than him. And also, like, I've known you for years. Be better than this. And he was like, oh, I am learning something today. Meanwhile, uh, my second in command and going to be best man at my fucking wedding uh, is Let's go. teaching all the kids how to make flamethrowers out of the Pam. Oh no. So, not going great. <laughs> and I come back and I'm like, hey, get your shit together. Like, I can't. Because now I still have to go talk to the other kid about why he did a hit and how he shouldn't do a hit. Yeah. And then my, my second man's like, yeah, 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 boss, totally. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm hmm, yeah, I don't buy this for a fucking second, but whatever. So, we were trying to make breakfast and it was a giant thing of pancakes because, you know, you're trying to feed 20 people with pancakes. Right. It's a lot of batter. Right. I go talk to the other kid about whatever the hell went wrong. Um, and he's like, uh, he called me a meanie. And I'm like, you need to learn about just there should be a voice in your head that tells you to stop it and get some help. And you should listen to it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I like I think a little like a baby scout runs over to me and like tugs on my shirt and is like Patrick we have a problem and I'm like okay who punched who and I go back and I don't know how but someone managed to spill the entire pancake oh. batter thing onto the table and here's the thing about pancake batter um it when it's extremely close uh, uh cold out you disbanded the lobby uh, yeah, just gonna quickly go, while you're telling the story, go do the prestiging. Ooh! Um... Yeah. Oh, it's your prestige, that's huge! Yeah. Um, anyway. 
Uh, so the thing about pancake batter in like 30 <coughs> degree weather is once it like leaves its little, you know, batter hold, um, it just hardens like a fucking rock. And oh, really? So about a half inch of p pancake batter completely smothers this entire picnic table. And I'm, mo I'm like running back to the spot and I'm like stunned that in what the hell's happening. And our leader is like, like the adult leader is like, hey, we can't just leave this. Like we have to fix it. Right. And it's like, okay, how? And so we all had to get our stupid little pocket knives out and just dig at pancake batter <laughs> for hours chipping at it like a like eight of the dumbest michelangelo's attacking a block of marble just dinking at it with these stupid little chip away tools as also a fun little side effect we're starving because we didn't get to eat breakfast because all of the pancake batter was turned into like chrysalis shielding chitinous armor for this goddamn table how hard did you how hard did you yeah, beat up this kid afterwards i should have i only ever laid my hands on a kid once and that's because i pick him i picked him up and threw him because he was trying <laughs> to punch another kid but also <laughs> here's the thing it took like three kids caused the pancake spill that's the thing like, I didn't even get one kid that blamed me. It was just kids were, like, pushing each other and running around a lit flame and pancake batter and just slammed the pancake batter over. And so, in chat, someone asked, oh, the pancake batter spiller was real popular. So, like, no, they all blamed each other. And so, you know, it diffused the anger on the one kid who I would have, like, voted off the island. <laughs> And by that, I mean, I guess try and leave him there. I've been like, yeah, sorry. Joseph died. <laughs> he died in New Jersey. He drowned in pancake batter. He like it was carbonite. New Jersey. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I banned pancakes for three years. <laughs> we, <laughs> our troop didn't have pancake for three years. <laughs> Because I had the power to say no. I, I, I respect. Mm -hmm. I was like, my iron fist is slamming down through your pancake batter, this non dentodian ass fluid, and we are never, as long as I live, I'll never see this bastard again. But the bastard was pancake batter. Fucking pancake batter. I can't believe pancake bar batter hardens mm -hmm. as a result of, of like, even just general heat. Right. That's I think nuts. it was just because it was so cold. Like, I think oh, it was back cold, it was next cold. to something really hot and then next to something really cold. Oh, and so, like, it was hot pancake batter next to an, an oven or a little propane gas thing. Yeah. That then, like, hit something really cold and I think it, like, stuck to it. Also, I don't know how long the spill had happened because, again, I was dragged over here by someone being like, okay, so we have a problem. Which, I don't know if that kid <laughs> instantly knew this was a problem, or watched it for, like, 30 seconds, ran over to me, you know, right. and then, actually, I got there five minutes later, and that's why it was so hardened. All I know is, like, have you ever messed with, like, this is another Boy Scout thing. You're, like, at summer camp, and this desk that you're sitting at has been painted a hundred times, and you're just, like, picking at the little paint and all yep. of its layers. It was basically that. It's a classic. Yeah. Anyway, do you have any pancake related trauma or No, <laughs> never. Nothing like that. Uh I I, I can't I, I'm like trying to think of like the the worst in terms of like food situations, but like the worst is just like someone like is an idiot and doesn't pay attention to how much they cook the chicken, so you're eating chicken that's basically like dust. Come on, it's guys. like, oh, Leave yummy. It. I mean, I dust is a dust. lot better than, you know, salmonella. That's true. That is true. I, I do think that, I do think that, uh... Nothing uh, like a shit ton of condiments and hopefully Move cheese it, guys, someone brought to override yeah. the world's <laughs> worst chicken. 
The worst shit is like when you're at one of those cafeterias, like uh... so, like at a proper summer camp. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the summer camps, and then there's they have like a general cafeteria, right? So and they're cooking for like you know two hundred kids. Yeah. So they're not really putting that much effort in what they're cooking. So they like literally boil like chicken, and I'm plate. like, this is gonna on, be right? a and then you get like this fucking piece of chicken. And it's all, or, or like, here's the worst part. I was, I, I never ate red meat, so the number of times there would be like food for everyone, and then I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't eat red meat, and they're like, okay, you can have uh, lettuce and tomato, um, and, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm pretty sure I will... one of our kids was uh, Islamic, and so he didn't eat pork, and it was just sort of like, yeah, okay. Like, we just get, like, a, a beef sausage for him, and everyone else gets pork ones or whatever. Or, like, you know, yeah. similar. Like, I'm shocked they just... It wasn't that big of a pull for us to pay the three extra bucks to have a separate meat. Yeah, usually... So, like, if it was within my troop, it wasn't a problem because they knew. Right. But, oh, so it is just these big events. Sure. Yeah, it's, like, big events where it's, like, there's a bunch of stuff, and then sometimes they'll do a thing where they, like, give everyone hot dogs, right? And it's, like, a midday snack. And then I'm just, like, okay, I will eat like, nothing. Uh, were you ever a Order of the Arrow kid? Uh, I only did my initiation and then yeeted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went through, like, the trial. Oh, yeah. You ha Did you... Was there the whole ceremony at night with the, like really like wow this is definitely just take the stealing native american shit huh ceremony oh, yeah. okay oh, yeah were you fed anything that day no okay i got a i think i got a piece of cheese american cheese for breakfast Molly, and over here. i think i got a single slice of bread for lunch uh <laughs> and sounds about right wait and so literally what my day was it was just it was the largest field of stumps. Like, you know. Oh, you're trying to get grabbed. Uh uh uh, Cave Leech. Mind your Christ. fucking manners. That thing almost ate my pickaxe. Let there be light. Uh. Anyway. I was definitely saying something, and it was like filled with words and thoughts. Shame. <laughs> I once saw a bird kill itself. No, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> Dude, your brain's like short circuit. I had What's a coffee earlier idea? today, but I'm also now tired. So <laughs> I still have the brain of someone that like has the coffee. Hey, what's this? <clears throat> but not the energy to like follow up behind it. Oh, weird oh, boy fuck. scout. Oh, cult. I was gonna shoot it. In oh, come on. Thing. I've already killed like three of these fuckers. How are there more? Did you get it? Yeah. With your uh, anti thing? Uh, I guess one of my bots was around, and they just, wow. just came. Those guys are real ones. <laughs> They're better dwarfs than me. <laughs> Engineers are kind of like anti, uh, the, the, the solo uh, deal with those bull bullshit fucking cave guys. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure their official name. Yep. So, yeah. oh yes, anyway, the Boy Scouts is filled with the cult bullshit. And yep. the task I was given, as was the other, like, a hundred scouts that I got initiated with, because it, it was at summer camp, mm -hmm. was there was a conservatively half acre of just wooden stumps CRG, that I'm needed to be chopped into firewood. Sure, <gasps> Me too! Wait, where the hell did you get your... I went to Resica Falls. Have you ever been there? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why did they have all these stumps? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where'd they Literally get them? Literally, same thing. I all I had to do was fucking cut down stumps. Either that or um. So, nor, yeah, you know how you're supposed to like do the whole vow of silence. Yes. Um, which the really is just try to only talk when the adults aren't there. Yeah, exactly. Um, I uh, I didn't have to do vows. I like I, I didn't have to do it when I was doing There's all my work because while we were doing the stumps, some of them were big and like we also had to cut down trees. So we were using a chainsaw. So they were like, yeah, please don't be silent. Like, if you need help or like <laughs> you got there's a shit chainsaw? around, like if you if you're silent, someone's gonna die. So like, just don't. <laughs> Bro, they gave us an axe and a big kid and said, "Good luck, idiot." Like that was. 
They were like, this fort this fourteen year old is made of pure steroids and American beef. He will be <laughs> the splitter. <laughs> I will be your shield. <laughs> yeah. Fucking okay. like fourteen year old Reinhardt was just our walk. solution. <laughs> With like, I'm opening this shit. <laughs> Wait, oh shit! There's an egg. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, okay. Do we have any reloads? No. Homie, what are we we're doing good. here? Oh, we're good. We're good. Ain't no way you're gonna do nothing. Seconds oh, before disaster. Enemies. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. I regret everything. Oh weird. No one ever listens to Scout. Everyone's always like, oh, I need resources. I need resources. And suddenly, I can't get them. Oh, I'm out of here. oh, come Get on. This guy. Get your butt. But, um, yeah, I remember that. I hated OA. I thought it was kind of a stupid boys club. And... Oh, of course it was. Uh, have, yeah. you, have you heard about Boy Scout? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, so I had a Venture Scout troop near me, and so. Oh, Venture Scouts were kind of rad. Not yeah, exactly, exactly. So I had, like, originally I was kind of, like, done with the scouts because I, I didn't like how... I, well, there were a lot of issues I had with the whole how it functioned. And I'm like, oh, there's venture scouts in my school, and some of them are my friends. I would much rather go do that than, than ever deal with the, the fucking scouts. You know, like all the bureaucracy and like yeah, I get the adults that. are an issue, and, you know. Um, but then I was like, I should probably finish Eagle. So instead of finishing Eagle, I just continued to run my troop for like five years. <laughs> like truly, there was just this like three-year age gap, and I also became leader early because like I don't know, I was I was destined to lead idiots. Mood. And I hope one day to be your elected no. Uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. I've just had that like, well, if no one will do this, I'll do it. Hey, I think we're dead. So we got, we got, uh. Yeah, I think we uh, got RKO'd. Oh, squad wiped. I think, um, so I tried to kill it by entering its body. Me too. Yeah. That's bad. All right, so new plan: we don't enter its body. <laughs> don't worry, I'm we got a cool a seventy gold. <laughs> um, I mean, 70. I know I kind of feel like I should be gunner. <laughs> I was like, mm. you can take him. <laughs> take him. We can both be gunner. I bloody told you, we need to stick together. We, to I guess we could, but I, I'm gonna stick scout. Try to get to level twenty-five. <coughs> yeah, I am. Um, engineer's been lapped over twice. I don't even think I got anything really for <laughs> prestiging a second second time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Try something new. And it's time to strong. Diversify. Yeah, yeah. Switch to gunner. Okay, so Honestly, do you want to send it on a deep dive? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm in for it. I'm in. Yeah, for let's it. send it. Let me grab some abilities. Real. Quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I really like the dash. I'm gonna get the dash. I don't hit, hit the button enough for that to work. <laughs> like my brain just doesn't remember. It's because it's not on the screen. Like I didn't realize how useful it is just to have the ability somewhere on the screen that constantly like, hey, you have this. Remember? Don't forget. Oh, yeah. I'd have think a little HUD that shows it like slowly, like recharging would probably be really nice. Yeah. Um. Hang on, I'm going back into the vein of the Boy Scouts because I think I can get gold out of this. Uh, <laughs> what the hell else was I? Yeah, so, oh, I became a Brotherhood member, Order of the Arrow. I, that second rank. I still think I know the handshake because it wasn't a handshake. It was a question and a weird answer. Um, <laughs> Spoil. Hey, hey, I, I'm still keeping a secret, ain't I, huh? Uh, uh, oh, true. Technically, yeah. Yeah, you don't know what the hell that means. That yeah, can mean I, anything. I don't know anything. I'm so I'm like, whoa. All of my friends crazy. are telling me how much this thing was a cult in my chat. That, that's all I'm getting. Oh, it, it was. Yeah, it's a cool, yeah. fun cult that taught me how to shoot a shotgun. It kicked ass. 
That is true. We did get the shoot guns. Yes. Yeah, guns at, are cool. At, and not at people, which is like better than epic. like 80% of this country. So. <laughs> I'm gonna move right <laughs> by that real quick. So anyway, at 12 <laughs> is when you get to learn is the youngest you can shoot a bow. And then at 13 or no, 11 bow, 12 rifle, 13 shotgun. So that's Attention the progression I took. Um, to was I did archery one year, <gasps> rifle another, shotgun after. Because like, why wouldn't you? Okay, who didn't show yesterday? Oh, I'm not promoted. I'll go be a gun guy. Oh I my guess god, I'm not no promoted either. <laughs> oh, all right, hang on. I'll switch to gun shoot. I'll be uh, the guy who does the things with the turrets. Probably. Many people are saying this. I don't know what they're saying, but they have been saying it. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> yes. Does this do bigger projectiles or armor breaking? Oh, we're gonna shatter some armor, baby. Hang on, I'm just buying all the shit for this. Alright, so I'm trying out the hurricane guided rocket system. Wait, why am I doing this? No, I'm not. I'm trying out the other one, because I also have overclocks for it. I'm trying out the Thunder Heavy Cannon. It has about three um, bullets total, but they Come do a lot of damage. Oh. Seems epic. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so I went through... Hmm. Sorry, I'm drinking water. Because it's important to stay hydrated. Really? That's not cool. Harsh, I know how you feel about this, but if you can maybe uh, keep it the fuck together and stay professional here. <laughs> this will be the end of us. So there I was, chugging water and loving it. Um, no, but that was one of the coolest things about Boy Scouts was that at one hand it was like, you're all stupid little babies. And on the other hand it was like, yeah, you can try and learn how to shoot a gun and learn to be responsible and also feed yourself. Yeah. Learn some Knox basic skills in life. Like, you it's know. really useful. It, it was good <laughs> and important. It just also was ridiculous. And, yeah. like, who let this happen? Tons of the adults always had drama, too. Um, and the kids would always... There would always be issues like, <clears throat> I hate this kid! And then every kid had someone they didn't like. And it, oh, it was always some bullshit thing. You had adults was... out loud admit they hated certain kids? Oh, I, well, <clears throat> so, like, I was I was tight with the adults because I was, you like... You were born that way. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, they, like... They were cool. They were cool with me because me. they wouldn't say, hey, but you know what I mean. They'd be like, "Oh, it's this kid again," you know, doing mm -hmm. this kind, of, this kid kind of things. It's just like, hey, okay. and like, I don't know. There was always drama. People were always. Yeah, I mean, there was some was drama. Skiing, I don't right? know. I felt like I kept my troop pretty. Uh, boys, everyone's gonna be nice to each other. <laughs> you know, very much. The, the dad who's like, Ev we're just gonna have a nice fucking family vacation. Like, I think I mostly held that together. That's good. That's good. That's being good. I was in ASPL because I swam and that conflicted with, uh, with all the meeting times. So my friend BJ was like the, uh, he was the SPL. But we plan, I like would try to plan stuff for him. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go go and do things when he couldn't, because I couldn't always be at every meeting like he could. That was such a pain in the ass. Also, like, the adults will, like, push their own personal beliefs and shit on the kids. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not great. It's hey, we, not we got a weird freak we gotta blow up. I've marked them. I don't know, but kill it. It's gonna. It's filled with good shit, TM. There yep. we go. I was we not kidding. That's a lot of good shit. It's, too it's not Zip too steep. Done. Don't be a baby. I, got the I remember, uh, like, when I did my like citizenship of the the world, uh, the merit badge. Like the, the, <laughs> the scout, the scout leader that did it with me was like. 
Yeah, you know, the UN really fucking sucks. <laughs> what a funny and extremely weird opinion to have. <laughs> Like, I okay. don't- I don't think that's an opinion that, like, a lot of people have. Was yeah. he an extreme libertarian? I- I- like, it was hard to- uh, see, at the point in time, I wasn't that wise in terms of, like, political knowledge. Oh, you it were just, a child, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you were an actual I like, child? I was, like, Weird. No, I was, like, 13 or something, but, like, you know, like- all, Sure. Like, yeah, I was really nuanced in my political beliefs at 13. Uh huh. <laughs> I would definitely want me voting at 13. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Of course not. Yeah, exactly. I was, yeah, a literal child, and he said that, and it, like, stuck with me for years, because I was like, well, he's what smart. the fuck? This dude has the personal agenda against the fucking UN, and, like, I don't know how much he knows about it. Ah, okay, you didn't just believe it. You Bye. went, oh, maybe I trust this guy less. <laughs> also fair. <laughs> Well, I, I've been, like, uh, a little bit skeptical of, like, Scouts made me really skeptical of what the adults have to say, like, dude, like, we went to DC for a trip, and one of the, one of these, like, Scoutmasters was a, uh, he was a lawyer, and, um, like, uh, I'm trying to think of what the evil ones are, prosecutors, right? Uh, yes, prosecutors yeah. do try to put people in jail if that's what you're saying yeah 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 okay i sorry i i'm not that knowledgeable in terms of uh in terms of who i does think what in, like, prosecutors people famously dislike prosecutors because you know they're the ones pushing for higher sentences and clearly they're, they would not be pro reforms that minimize sentencing okay 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 sorry yeah, i don't know it, how political i'm allowed to get on here <laughs> like my one friend works for a very businessy business. Like, I work nice. for a company with, like, three total people in it, so, like, it's chill. If okay, I'm okay. like, I'm a communist, but, like, I'm not sure <laughs> how the vibe extends. Okay, okay. I will, then I will be brief and careful with my wording. No, 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 you can go off. You're not affiliated. You can say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> um, if I just go, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Let's not try. <laughs> Holy shit! I'd rather die to the cave leech. It sucks in here. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Oh it's my a god. super oh exploder. God. Oh I'm in hell. Why am I here? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening over there? Oh, I am throwing uh, every item I, I have under the sun. Be, I'd rather be sued than this shit. What's going on? <laughs> Find the prosecutor. <laughs> anyway, pros uh, the prosecutor in the country should be dead. Is that what you want me yeah. to say, game? <laughs> Are we far enough? For okay. Holy. Holy I just see you with a cute thrown into the air from a cave leech. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck were we talking God. about? So, yeah, you had a prosecutor as your... Ah, uh, yeah, prosecutor. And so Dude, he, I had um... a gynecologist as one of my uh, camp guys. He was way more chill. Yeah, he was like, he was a, he was like fine in terms of his personality, but he was like a little money oriented and mm. um, not very progressive in his beliefs. Very uh, cool to have the guy who's supposed to administer justice be money oriented. Yeah, exa exactly. Yeah, thank you. Um, he, uh, yeah, uh, he, yeah, and he would like, he, we went to DC for a trip and it was like, you know, it was all sponsored, quote unquote, by him, whatever. You know, he like, he like, uh, he like set up the whole, the whole thing. And the dude, um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. You're he about liked, to tell me how it was. Cool. Yeah. So like one night he like sat everyone down and then he just proceeded to like spew every single one of his personal like political beliefs. And Give me some his of them were tape. a little bit uh like non-progressive. Things like, you know, global warming isn't real, stuff like that. And uh um, We're gonna take you to DC. Step one, all this shit's fake. <laughs> You're like, oh <laughs> why are we here? <laughs> and I was just like, oh, because, like, at that point, I was, like, um, a little kid, but I was, like, still, like, very science-oriented. Like, my, both my parents are engineers, so, like, the, the first thing, like, when he said that, my immediate, mo like, my immediate mode was, like, distrust. Like, this guy, whatever this guy's saying, he has an agenda. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. this, and, dude, I'm, like, 14. Like, I'm a kid still. Sure. And I, I immediately was, like, but then, like, 
you know, all the other kids nodding their head like, yeah, 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 this makes sense. Like, global warming clearly isn't real. It's like all political. And I was like, this is so fucked. Like, I am, I am annoyed and upset. And then, like, basically, I, like, went back in my brain. I'm like, who, which one of my adults can I actually trust they, what, they, uh, what they said? And which adults can I, do I have to, like, permanently ignore at this point? Because they just, they're not trying to just, you know, help us grow ourselves. They're trying to, like, you know, make drones that are sure, sure, drones sure. of themselves. I mean, like, you know? that is Boy Scouts. It is quite Republican. I, I yeah. have Boy Scouts in Philadelphia, so, like, I'm pretty sure some of the people that ran that thing were still Republicans, but, like, you know, you can only be so Republican in a city. Yeah. yeah and exactly. so, like, or, like, you know, I have a feeling almost all of my old Scoutmasters are now Democrats because they're, like, Romney-Clinton voters. You know, yeah. that's their vibe. <laughs> um, most of them, anyway. But, yeah, I, made a platform. I, can't, I can't imagine being in Boy Scouts post-Trump. That's gotta be nuts. Like, dude. Yep. Cause Sorry, I, go ahead. No, 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 I'm, like, I'm like two here. years older than you, so I got out of the troop a little earlier. So I, there, I was not in the troop when Trump got elected. My ass was going to college, you know? Like, I wasn't yeah. there yet, but I was a senior. I'm going to college. It's over. Yep. I, I got lucky I got out before then, but... Like, I, mean, I bet you it got so weird, nice. dude. It got so weird. Like, it definitely did, because... It, like, from what I know of my old troop, and I, like, went back to go see a couple times. They, 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 they actually, like... Action time. A swarm will be upon oh, you my God. Fuck your I swarm. Um, they're, like, Where what's the word? Um, home base. Like, it was a fire hall that's, like, three minutes away from my apartment. Yeah, um, so, I get it. I mean, it's an old sense of community. Yeah, kind we of don't have like any more boys. We, we don't have any more what? We don't have any more boys. It, it, it's 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 an all girl boy scout now. So huh. things have changed. I do wonder if I mean we had like not a great size. I would say the max size we hit while I was like running it was like uh, we're actually gonna go home because that guy's scary. Hang on one second. Anyway, running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, anyway, yeah. fuck that guy. Am I right, gamers? Uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we. I want to say max size troop I ran was like twenty four, and the minimum okay. got down to like eight. But we we averaged like a good twelve fifteen. Yeah, yeah. So you were like a. I, I would say like a ooh, standard medium sized troop. Standard small to medium sized troop. Yes. Yeah. Small yeah medium, not one of those yeah, ones where it's nuts and you're like, oh my god, there's fifty scouts. This is. I'm on your side. Like, you have like an eagle pipeline in there. Yeah. Right. Where you're like, wow, y'all. Like, y'all are one of the larger employers in your town, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like straight from, you go straight from Boy Scouts to college to whatever. Like, right. To like your employer or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, Not, it's none of that. None of that here. Yeah. Alright, step in and out until it works. Mm. It's not working. There we go. Yep. There we go. Um. But like, I don't know if there's any girls in the new troop at this point. I wouldn't be shocked, cause like, let's be honest, Boy Scouts is just way more fucking fun than Girl Scouts. Like, Girl Scouts have to like learn how to run a business, and Boy Scouts have to learn how to like shoot a gun and go canoeing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree. Like Girl Scouts, they just there's just not the same opportunities that you get between the two. No, and it seems like Girl Scouts is really good for, like, learning business acumen, but for, like, just hanging out and vibing, unparalleled bullshit you could get down to with Boy oh, Scouts. Yeah. yeah, it's just, you just do shit. It's, there's random shit all the time. I mean, also, like, summer camp. Summer camp is Summer camp, I, I, I took the jet skiing merit badge. I went behind a jet ski and like learned how to wave ride. That's what Dude. I did for a week. I did the motor boating there, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh wait. That's what I mean, like, there's no way the Girl Scouts have that. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I, my my, uh, my girlfriend in high school was a Girl Scout, so out. I know Drill for a fact that they Wow, you were so scout-pilled, even your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah, I have like a whole scouting thing. <laughs> my girl's a scout, I'm a scout. Born and blood <laughs> scout, baby. My political leanings? I only vote for the scouts. <laughs> I, did, I check yeah. the races, I see who's an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I guess that means I'm sexist because I can only vote for men, but I hadn't <laughs> thought that part through. <laughs> yeah. But they fixed that now, so now I'm woke again. <laughs> yeah, but I hate the woke agenda. No, yeah. if my Eagle Scout uh, <laughs> protege tells me it's good to be woke, I love it. But if they yeah. tell me it sucks, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> my kids will go to scouts, my wife will go to scouts. <laughs> my dog will go to scouts, and he will be at least a life scout by the end of it, I swear to God. <laughs> scout families, holy shit, they go card. Anyway, I have plenty more ideas for worst sitcom ever invented, if you want to hear more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Oh no, he followed up on that. Okay, uh, step one. Uh, it's it's Bojack Horseman, but like it's only, but it has a lot more like gratuitous sex scenes. What do you think? I'm calling um, it Bojack. Nice horse, man. <laughs> and it's a it's a reference to his ween. Uh, let's see what else do I got? Uh, I need weapons. Uh, I'm going to drop a uh, a orbital strike. Uh, can we maybe just get a reload? <laughs> um. Oh yeah, that too. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, what the hell? The oh, right, there's enemies in this game. Orbital strike came down. Orbital strike? What is this? A union? Uh, yeah, I was like, the WGA? <laughs> Ow! Sorry, I'm trying to get on to Stephen Colbert with the, that witty intake like that. <laughs> I'm gonna need you down in this pit to help me lift up these legs at some point. Uh, I will, as soon as these guys stop murdering me and I can make a path. No, I'm like listening, I'm learning, I'm laughing and loving. Like, that's great. But if you could get your ass down here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ass completed. Now where? Uh, well, we gotta crack there. open these legs. Oh, this is tragic. Okay, so we go like this and like this. And then after we crack open the legs, we gotta send them up. To this. green zone. To this. My my second favorite spot in uh Sega. Is that Sega? Sonic. <laughs> in, in the Sega. I love Sega. That's my I love the Sega green. Extended Universe. Because it's really cool that in Sonic 06 he kisses a woman, like an actual woman. And so we just have to remember that Sonic who kisses a real woman is in any other Sega. That's um, Y'all remember how in 2006 Sonic, for some reason, he kisses a real woman? Because <laughs> I've never forgotten. I feel like I'm missing a brain cell now. Here we go. I was I was watching Game Grumps as like a 13 year old, and I saw that happen, and I was like, "Oh, this is like, this is the opposite of whatever Lola Bunny did to people." Like, this is, this is the anti-furry bait, <laughs> seeing Sonic kiss a real girl. I feel like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> this, I don't like. Not one bit. <laughs> the anti-furry... Bro, it's just like fucking the B movie. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, having Jerry Seinfeld be a B and want to fuck a woman was honestly... <laughs> The best thing that happened to human society. It's it, it brought us back to sanity, like <laughs> something like that, yep. Uh oh, your hammer's in my face. Are you happy to see me? Yeah, that's how that uh. goes. <laughs> yes. So um there's like a 3D printer going on in this room. And I think the fumes of it are actually starting to get to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Just a resin man now. Made yeah, I, it's truly. Resin. Hey, am I good to start this drill? Because that's important. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see I'm you're starting the drill. 
<laughs> hey, we can work together on pressing the button, right? That's how this game works. Yeah, oh, we could press the button together. We're not holding hands. We're both just fellas who both need to press the button at the same time. See ya. I gotta go. That's my zip line. I gave you that. That's my hard work. That's my hard work you're gonna break your knees on? <laughs> no, I can't break my knees because I have these pads. No, yeah, got... he's just, <laughs> just <laughs> obliterated. Doretta went, nah, man, break your knees. <laughs> you, disre you disrespected my man. Your knees are getting... <laughs> what? There's lit... Who? Where? What? I'm a single guy. Uh, I shot at it. Is that affected? I didn't even see okay. it. Oh, that shit. That was impeccable. <laughs> I thought I did damage. What happened to the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. You ever watch the 1990s uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the ice prick from Batman? Uh, I haven't, but I have seen the memes. No. And now Batman movies used to be goofy and ridiculous instead of like, yeah, this is really like an in-depth feeling about trauma and like our failures of the social society. The old ones were like, yeah. Batman, what rhymes with banana? A hammer. Oh my God, it's the ham man. He's stolen the mayor's <laughs> wife. <laughs> Tana's firstborn. Yeah, the firstborn. And if we save him, we'll get the mayor's key. Well, that's, yeah, good old Adam West Batman. Yeah. I love a Batman where he's in bright purple. Truly the least intimidating color I can think of is like, I am the night. I am light lavender. <laughs> I am the soothing scent beneath all of your wings. So I am I liked, a reinforcing I liked the Batman song. comics as a kid, and they never, uh, you know, he, he is kind of goofy in them, so I'm okay I am with it. I a goofy little guy. <laughs> I deliver you warm milk and cookies and read you a bedtime story. <laughs> yeah, me I'm and gonna... Aesop, I love his fables. Uh, yeah, Grimm's, uh, the Grimm's brothers. I'll be honest, uh, the Grimm stuff, I have to keep it a bit more PG, because the little tykes don't like it. Yeah. yeah but all on my own, I read them, kids. and I I don't censor out the parts where the kids die or something. You know, you know what always confused me? He he spends, like, an enormous amount of money, right? Like, people, Many people like, are saying probably this. notice, right? Yeah, uh, y y you think they might notice the part where it's like, Hey, Bruce, um... Your discretionary fund. I did look at it for like a second, and it just says bat shit, and it's like three billion dollars, bud. Uh, that's like a <laughs> lot of your fund. I'm not sure we can sustain that. Bat shit. <laughs> yeah, it just says generic bat shit. First of all, this is not gonna pass when the IRS finally gets our ass. <laughs> like, we gotta be thinking about the future, man. I'm in Iron Man. The, uh, the, my only abilities are being rich. The only crime that's allowed in Gotham is tax evasion. That's a really <laughs> weird opinion for you to have, dude. <laughs> the only crime I do is the, is the, in, is the uh, social inequality. White collar crime is, makes me sick. Unless it's to I help a good non-profit organization keep more of their money for good services. Like trying to kill the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, Bruce Wayne probably creates like half the poverty and the crime. Bruce that Wayne, he fucking Bruce beats Wayne being up. like, I'm a good guy. I just really like a good tax haven. <laughs> I'm I'm the main guy in the Panama projects. And it's totally cool because I punch clearly psychotic people and tell them to stop it. Yeah. 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 So wait, Stop sorry. I, what? Whoa. I just realized I guess he's Batman, so he's in his like, I'm a normal charming man voice. I think I shouldn't have to pay taxes because I'm just a hunk of meat that you all want to sleep with. And then everyone canonically is like, oh, you scam. <laughs> Sounds like mash. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the show about the Korean War? Yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Everyone that's a was sick just like, hey, I just would like Hawkeye, he's hot. Yep. Okay, but that's true though. That is true. Alan Alden Alda, right? That's yeah, young right? Alan Alda. Yeah. Do you know I only know Alan Alda from West Wing because I am a lib bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> bro, Rob Lowe in West Wing? Yo, what a fucking hunk though. Unironically. And in Parks and Rec, still a king. I think a one of the true. first daddies of Hollywood. Very true. We're only an he hour in, bud. Me. What's wrong with us? <laughs> we what? I, bro, I wish. <laughs> I wish responsibly. Yeah, I'm, I'm straight and I wish. <laughs> I wish responsibly. <laughs> Hey, can respect the good-looking guy when it comes around. Yeah, it's called respect. <laughs> yeah, I want to respect all of it. He he's in uh, there's a new Netflix show called Unstable. He's in. Oh, okay. What's it about? Yeah. It, 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 it's about a bioengineering firm where he's like this uh, eccentric uh, like uh, scientist mm -hmm. um, who is really weird. Um, and uh he does he he does he does some really really like is it a dark yeah, comedy like, like i'm trying to figure out what the vibe is it, it is dark com it's like sort of dark comedy because he he does like so it, it starts off with him like being really reasonable and then you you learn that he's kind of he's kind of a, a little nuts um mm -hmm. because he lets everything build up and then he does something extreme kind would of you thing. say he's an unreliable narrator uh, he's not even narrating. You just watch it. Actually, I think the like, perspective is mostly from the son, who's like coming back into his life, mm, and uh, okay. That's uh, really hates his dad. And he's like, "Dad, uh, you're kind of crazy." And Rob Lowe's the dad, which uh, pretty epic, by the way. I'll be honest, I'm pretty interested. I'll, yeah, I want to look it, at some it, reviews. I'll check it out. It's a funny show. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to keep things spoiler free. Uh, and also, what's his name? Is it? Um, ooh, fuck! It's the guy from Portlandia. Uh, uh, the guy who can do a bunch of accents. Yes. Yeah. Fred. Um, Fred yeah, Fred Armistan. Armistan. Fred Armistan. Yeah. Armistan. One of those. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's freaking great too. He's also in that, um, and then some some other newer actors but rob lowe honestly has aged extremely well that am dude, i good to send it yeah you can keep talking like drop the yeah, phrase yeah. on my man yeah i yeah I, i'll always i'll always hype up rob lowe. Yeah. Like such a yeah i think the first thing i really saw him in was uh was the west wing uh parks and rec stuff like, cause Parks and Rec was one of the early ones that, like, I watched when I was, like, mm -hmm. getting into, um, comedy, sitcoms and stuff that, like, people had talked about. Mm -hmm. Instead of just being a YouTube boy. YouTube boy. I was like, oh, this is, I get why everyone watches this. This is funny shit. <laughs> it's so well written. Yeah, I mean, also, like, Parks and Rec in particular was... I think the first show that I realized, like, oh, this show's just about, like, like, it's just kind of fun. Like, it's not trying to be extremely funny. It's trying to be like, aw. And you know what? Yeah. I, I need that cotton candy in my life sometimes. Shit's hard. <laughs> Give me the cotton candy. Yeah. I like that about uh, The Office as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially, like, as you get seasons and seasons in, and it's, like, right. less haha -ha funny and more like, hey, we're going to try and do, you know, we're going to try a real plot line here. What, what do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> you guys okay with that? A little bit of plot? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to the whole campaign thing. Oh? The, cam the campaign was part of the plot, right? That was the... Nice button or something. I saw you said campaign and my brain was like, are you talking about your D&D &D campaign? Am I lost no. in the sauce? <laughs> no, I'm Leslie's campaign for oh. like, what was it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being like a yeah. two, like a, an entire season. Fix. Yeah. <laughs> and also the fact they, honestly, one of the best uh, shows to do a long break and give a good ending, where they do a, a, like a time stick, time skip that works, and yeah. like feels like it's gonna give your characters an ending. Honestly, good work. Yeah. Yeah. It's way better than community in that sense. Ooh. 
shots fired. Community is one of the more recent ones I've watched, and it it now makes me love uh, Danny Putty. Uh, <laughs> I love Danny Putty. Bro kicks ass. Like he <laughs> genuinely some really difficult acting he has to do. Like like there's a, a Nick Cage episode that keeps popping up on my TikTok where he like mm -hmm. starts acting like Nick Cage, and I'm like, this is a really difficult character to try and do because you're not only trying to be Nick Cage, you're trying to be Nick Cage yeah. as a version that is being copied by Abed. Like, yeah. <laughs> like a, it's a double act, and it's like, wow, this is really, this is good. He's excellent. I, I followed him around for some of this stuff. He's he's like half Polish, half Indian, so you represent, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, we're both extremely Polish. <laughs> uh, he's he's also in there was a canceled show which actually had Vanessa Hudgensen uh, yeah Hudgensen or something I, like I can't tell you what she looks like I just know her name yeah yeah the one who was in um I think High School Musical or something right okay sure um, that's probably yeah. how I first saw her yeah <laughs> she uh she was uh what do you call it she was in this show about like a company in a world where like there are superheroes, like the DC superheroes, but okay. they were a company that focused on cleaning up after the superheroes who basically sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, destroyed everything, like would destroy everything. And what, and he, he was in that show. We got a grabber? One of the adventure. Oh my god, get him out of here. Good work. Alright, man. And then he was also it. in Mythic Quest, if you've ever seen that. That show is awesome. Uh, yeah, it was like animated, uh, a D and D campaign. Uh, I think it's Vox Machina, right? Yeah, it was something like that. Or maybe I'm thinking of Harmon Quest. I think I'm thinking of Harmon Quest, and I'm getting confused here. Yeah, Mythic Quest is not animated. It's written by the guys who do Always Sunny. Oh no, no then no. I don't. Know it. Yeah, one of the guys. Yeah, I'm thinking of Harmon Quest. Quest. Is it? Who, who is it? Charlie Day? Uh, not Charlie Day. Uh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Yeah. Rob H something. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like yeah, it's like Nick Hennessy. Something. Honestly. Hennessy, yeah. <laughs> like it's Rob not Hennessy, Hennessy, but it's pretty much Hennessy. Yeah. It's like McKenny or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very Irish. Very Irish. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good writer. Well, yeah, yeah. Like. Always Sunny, shockingly good show, considering it's still good at like season 13 or 14. <laughs> like, that's hard. I spy with my little yeah. yeah, they uh, they really did a good job. I mean, the writers are good, and they're also like open to being progressive and stuff and not just being stuck in one universe. Forever. Right, well, I mean, the whole point of the show is that they're absolute pieces of garbage. Right, and right. And so, that's really important for a show like that, because. It's how you're able to still, like, be edgy, but in a way where it's like, no, the joke is that they suck so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, like, exactly. not... What's impressive is, like, unlike a lot of pieces of media that try to show someone who really sucks, they do a good enough job that everyone who's watching actually knows they all suck. Like, <laughs> like no one actually leaves that going, like, wow. Mac oh, is yeah, so like cool. It's like, like the fucking Peaky Jenny's Blinders kind of shit. Um, right, or like, this isn't this isn't American Psycho, where people are like, yeah, I don't know, man, he's kind of cool. Oh my god, yeah, with Christian Bale, right. It, right it's right, a lot right. more like, yeah. oh no, like, they all suck so hard. They're really bad. No one should like them. And right. that's hard to land, apparently. Yeah. So I respect yep. that. Yep, there's like a, yeah, all that, like, uh... <laughs> Sigma male, whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, uh, what a great way to, because Dennis could have become that character, and instead they're yeah. like, no, he's an incredible, like, sex freak. Like, he's a extreme weirdo, and no yeah. one thinks he's cool for that. Yeah. He's the only person who thinks he's hot, and, like, that's great. Yeah, the entire cast is also... I also think it's really funny that Charlie Day's wife is the girl that he keeps stalking. <laughs> yeah, that he, like, for years and years, the character that he's both had a crush on but also never learned the name of is actually the... the she's the waitress. That's such a yeah. fun, like, bit. Oh, so good. Alright, Greta, you just need to chill at the bottom of here. 
minutes. And then we just wait for this thing to crack open and we'll be fine. What a jaw dropping experience! I, I finally have looked over a chat and just noticed Patrick loves to dad him up. It's very true. I love a show where the bit is that a parent is learning how to more perfectly understand their child and like care for them. Yep. The while still being crazy. Yeah. Sure, while like, you know. Like right now, there's a reason why I love God of War. <laughs> like, oh, it's boy simulator. It's great. Wait, have you played The Last of Us? Or watched it? Mm. I watched most of the first of The Last of Us, but I never actually, like, got that into those games. Even though I know I would love them. You would love them, yeah. Like, I'm extremely confident I would have a great time. <laughs> it's dad simulator for it sure. It is! But, I don't know. I, I think it was just, like, it was a console game first, and so I was out of consoles by the time it was getting big. Yeah. Yeah. They'll do a PC port eventually, for sure. I think they must have. And I just haven't stayed up with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Likewise, I have no idea if they would have PC port at any point. But I would understand if they did, because that game is just a masterpiece. Well, it's, like, one of the best-selling, most popular... I mean, yeah. it's also, like, polarizing because it has women in it. But, you know, other than that, like, Wait, all the critics like it. Character? I, I can't relate to that. That's, yeah, I'm so not gross. women. Have you noticed this? Gaming? I, I mean, I can only relate to people who look like me. Like, That's exactly. Like, I actually can only yeah. relate to Patrick's. <laughs> um, there's like a there's a be named Patrick. There's an overrepresentation of like Adams in games, and I just don't relate. Like, why is Kratos' name not Patrick? That's a good point. Like, that's a classic Big, Greek name. Big Patrick Swayze fan, right? Yeah. Wow, it's getting kind of hazy. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I really need them, and preferably. Uh, if they had my identical upbringing, so if they could have my dad's name, my mom's uh, maiden name, and my social security number, I really just feel like that would make me more comfortable with the character. Yeah, especially the social security part. Like, right, it's like, really what's even the point if he can't steal my identity? Is he even me? <laughs> Dumb, idiot, stupid show writers? Think about that. <laughs> yeah, just a mad feed in either situation. What is my SSN? Oh, I'll say it right now. It's 178398423. There you go. I just ruined someone's life. <laughs> I just ruined a random person. Just so you guys didn't didn't forget. I have no idea who that was, but man, their life sucks. Some idiot just said their social security online. <laughs> you mess with one person. On yeah. And I'm gonna guess that person's mother's maiden name was probably like Sam uh, Tallow. <laughs> Greek? <laughs> no flares ready. I should probably reload. I have six ammo, and my reload takes ten years. Reloading is a real thing. It's fun too because I have a ammo capacity of 110. <laughs> it's a big gun. This guy really just told me to preserve my bullets? Do you understand who I am? I'm Gunner. I gun. I thought your name was Patrick. Oh, don't say my real name on here. <laughs> I want to get found. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, I thought your name was Plop. 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 Many people are saying this. They're all wrong, but many people are saying it. <laughs> um, alright, where the hell do we go? I guess we'll just go down this. It's right here. Yeah. I hate whenever it's stone and not dirt. I hate when I don't always get the drink that lets me just instantly break this. How are viable. we not here? Yeah. Look. Oh. There we go. I called for the mute. I see. Can you believe we got absolutely slam dunked on one of our previous missions? <laughs> what the hell was that? I huh? don't know what you're talking about. That, never happened. that was pretty weird. <laughs> I was just sitting here like, man, this is going so well, nothing could go wrong. And then my brain went, remember when it went really wrong? I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm out of it. 
We should... Let's just slam it down here at the bottom of this area. Yeah. All right, some more technicians. We should actually collect this stuff. Oops. Hey, don't hit me. That hurts. Ow. 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 Hey, Harsh, you're getting hit, and it's really harshing my vibe. I didn't. I'll be honest. The harsh part of that joke was not purposeful. Sorry, little. <laughs> that you was know, an accident. At a certain point, I've just started using the word too because no, it takes away from the town. Mm. It's sort of. You, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to. You know it's that, sort of right? Like your N word. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting choice of vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I don't think that was racist, but it was bad. <laughs> yeah, anytime someone says, I don't think that was racist, I'm really thinking, man, that was definitely not racist and not thinking that was racist. Yeah, thank you. Finally. Someone defending the white man. <laughs> oh, I, can't carry I, I think the game just launched me out of the wall and tried to kill me for that joke. <laughs> Nose chat. I, I, wow. DRG, a real ally. Or just Praxis. Hard to tell. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. You shouldn't need precious minerals. Molly. Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. Ready to kill some more. The room is like a thousand degrees. I gotta go. After this run, I'm gonna go Glad figure out the, the AC situation because at first I was like, I'll be okay, and now I feel like I'm a human. I'm inside I a human toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I go? Oh, there's a line. How the. Uh, e. The light. Oh, yeah, that's right. How yeah. to cook a harsh. <laughs> no! Don't, don't cook me, I don't taste that good. Players, not ready yet. The more you know. In a sense. <laughs> hey here. Molly, are you gonna join us or? What? I hate this mission. I'm going a completely new route I didn't even see. You just fell down this weird little hole. Go. You're alive? Whoa, what is above me? What the fuck? You, you found the smallest crevice possible and we're like, yeah, that's the way forward. <laughs> oh my god, where... What is yeah, I... leading your brain right now? Pure vibes. Uh, I just... I'm just a, I'm just a miner, what can I say? You're like, yep, all right, this one's got to be a left, that one will be a right, this one will be like, where are we going? <laughs> it's okay, I have 50 more, uh, uh more. Okay, more kite? Charging. Yeah. Wait, we looped? Yeah, so I think this is just a separate way down that we run back up on. The good news is, is I finally caught up to you. Just, just quick enough for the fight to start. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess we'll just do this whole loop. We we really shouldn't go up this way. This is a waste of time. I promise you. Wait, is there another path? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh? Wait, that's isn't that the way we just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will loop. show you the other path in a bit. Oh. Okay, but it okay. takes it's some time because we ran far. <laughs> <laughs> I have two modes, uh, walk and not walk. Mm. Yeah, walk really felt like run away as fast as you can. <laughs> I gotta be honest from here. <laughs> Rock my... stone forever. Let's. Rock and stone. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This other way. 
We're coming Trust up on him. Leave no dwarf behind. Rock and stone in the heart. Oh, up Rock here. and stone, brother. Uh, I was actually thinking I wanted to check it down. Charge. See if we could get further. Rock and stone. Oh, I see, I see, I see. We are unbreakable. Oh, Rock I don't... on. Why is, why is that Attention. so weird? On the way. Oh, yeah. Swarm time. Pretty cringe. cringe. Oh, I don't have my turrets. I'm an idiot. You Do you need to reload them? Uh, well, they're gonna come, and I can't set them up until they're. Uh, so you on have top to get far enough away to set them up. Um, I just need to wait for them to, to, to recall. All right, now I can set them up. All right, here we go. We're good. Okay. Basically, if I place them down, they have to like fly to me. Right. Now, do I understand that? No. You know, drones. Something, something, button, press, does damage, maybe, possibly, sometimes. Many people are saying that. Wow. Deep dive? My brain is so cooked. I worked so much today. Oh, you had a real work day? Yeah, I, we, like... I got assigned like a pretty large project. Ooh, okay. Um, so I actually can't, like it's not something that I can grind in like, you know, four days and like relax for a little bit. It's uh, it's gonna take me a while. So I actually have to be every day doing that. Yeah, that's rough. Six hours worth of work. Six, seven hours. That's, that sucks. <laughs> I hate deadlines so much. Yeah, that's real. I mean, like, what's fun about my job is usually it's chill. And then, like, a client will just be like, hey, I need this today. And I'm like, you understand this is how nothing works, right? Like, I can't just... I'm not just holding the permit this whole time and then going, all right, fine, I'll give it to you. Like, I have to, like, <laughs> go through a giant bu bureaucracy and they have to say yes or no. Uh, like I had a client that was like, yeah, could you just like do this thing real quick? And I was like, no, I need plans and then I need to submit them. And then a guy needs to go over them. And then the guy's probably going to say no. Uh, and then we're going to need better plans. And that'll be like a month and a half. And they're like, I, I have like two days. And I was like, I, I, you don't have a brain cell. And then they got mad. And you beat them up and take their lunch money. No, because it's like. They're like, uh, you're a permit expediter. Expedite it. And it's like, I don't know who you think I can bribe, but they don't exist. And we don't do that. So, we're just going to do it the quickest way possible. You know, it's like, it's yeah. someone who's like, hey, we're in the left lane. Why aren't we already there? It's like, no, 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 you're going faster. But the thing is still 100 miles away. <laughs> it doesn't matter that you're going faster. You don't get to teleport. <laughs> like, oh man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Send it. This is it. Team, do us proud. Uh, dead. sir? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Sorry, I thought the bot had a bug on it. It was just a Baxter friend. <laughs> sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I'm so worried. Molly's just gonna find like a straight line up. <laughs> Be like, well, sorry, idiots. Good luck finding your way home. <laughs> Are we going this way? Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god. Let's just book it. Oh. Let's head for the drop. Nice and easy and peasy. After we got obliterated. What? After we got obliterated. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. That was a practice round. That's why <laughs> we died after winning. <laughs> One. We should do um, we should do Magicka at some point. I am absolutely down for some Magicka. <laughs> I think I already own it, so that helps. Oh hell yeah! Wait, and also, I think it costs like three dollars. 
Because it's, it's pretty old at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Get into cover. It, it handles really funky. Oh, yeah. I mean, and the system is hard to learn. Like, all the <laughs> letters and shit and having to learn combinations. Like, it's rough. Which yeah. is why it's great. <laughs> like, there's something beautiful about a game so purposefully unwieldy <laughs> that, like, a part of the game's, like, challenge is how annoying it is to get a spell off without just panic dying. Yeah, yeah, you bring your, yeah, your whole... Like, you get access to everything at the start of the game. It's like, but can you use it? Yeah. That's the skill progression. Action. Of, like, Big ups to Magicka being like, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, like, way harder than Dark Souls. Because it's yeah. so hard for you to know what's happening. Like, your ass could just be randomized murder. Yep. Hey. Oh. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> you nearly blocked me to death. Oops. My bad. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh. That hurts. That can't be right. Rock and stone? Rock and stone? <laughs> stone and rock? Sacrilege. I think I got a new, um... What the fuck are those things called? Little square things? Matrix Little core? Dials? Matrix core! I got a new one that I think is engineer related, so we'll see if it's actually good. I got not. one that's just a cool beard. I think I'm gonna go drop the $9,000 to get it. <laughs> <laughs> he is not joking. <laughs> I just cracked every part of my body. <laughs> As you unraveled your spine, yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. This. I, it was my shoulders, it was my arms, it was my upper back. Like, it was. I, I like, chiropractors would be jealous. Anyway, what was I actually gonna do with that? Seeker rounds. What the fuck does this do? Uh, lock shots will always hit their target, even finding their ar way around, finding their way around heavy armor. Whoa! <laughs> what the, <fuck>? Dude. <laughs> the extra frosting load reduces the rate of fire. <laughs> I'm gonna. Lose All right, so it turns out the this. beard was nineteen thousand dollars. Oh yeah, that's a short. So I spent nineteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please help my budgeting. <laughs> Food. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> Rent six hundred dollars. Cool beard nineteen thousand dollars. <laughs> Air nineteen thousand dollars. Yeah. All right. Well, now I need to install the fuck it. Is this thing. Yeah, that's the Wait. weird. Oh shit! That's... What is this? Oh my god! I'm too poor for the beards. Hmm. Now I have a double beard. So, you know. not that I'm like better or whatever, <laughs> but like <laughs> if pleasure. we were comparing, they'd be like, damn, he has two beards. It's pretty cool. It's like, my beard is uh, girthy. Girthy. Mm. When I think of hair on someone's face, I'm always like, I wish it was girthier. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't even puke a little bit on that one. Real, real smooth. <laughs> Uh, many would call that a triumph of the English language that I can feel such pain from that awful sentence. <laughs> you want to do just one, uh, one normie one? Yes. Um, let me do a quick thing. I want to see how good Ooh. this thing is. I gotta uh, say, my upgraded gun, pretty good. The lead storm, nope. The thunderhead, heavy auto cannon works with this uh, as long as it has this overclock at least. Not bad. Weak point damage bonus at full lock. Okay, so this thing, how does this work? So I should have this. I think if I have any more, I got more bullshit scout stuff. I'm like spinning the wheel in my head of like 
shit I could talk about freely. Because, <laughs> like, you can't really get too much into work. You know? Because it's like, True. Uh, this is... This is real, and I think the company would care. Yeah, exactly. That's that's my thing, too. I don't want to say anything when... Uh... What what jobs have you had before your cool good job? Uh, zero. This is my first job. What? My first... Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Sorry. I, I, I meant first real job... Are you a member of the engineer. bourgeoisie? What do you mean? <laughs> first job... First job... <laughs> First job that I actually uh, I thought you were down as in an the actual mud engineer with in us. My brain. Um I, I I had like baby engineering jobs before this and they they always pay like crazy uh, for no reason. My first job was... I did food service. I was I was a Manhattan bagel like line cook and like guy who takes orders. Like I just did everything. And I was 16. It... Yes. Yeah, so... I got really lucky. <laughs> yeah, you were like, uh, I, you know, I guess I'll go into one of the, like, best fields <laughs> that's constantly growing or whatever. And my ass was yeah. like, I, I want to save the earth or something stupid. <laughs> Let me get paid $20,000 a year to tell people how good I am at reading English. Like, ugh. <laughs> Idiot alert. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my first job was a math tutor that paid like what 13 bucks an hour or something wow um which is pretty good rate yeah mathnasium and then i mean was it like did the kid know that was a good rate uh wait what do you mean were you a good enough tutor that he knew it was a good rate or they knew oh it was a good rate? oh it was through mathnasium so it was like i taught like a bunch of kids like from mm. i taught like some of my classmates too because it was like that's was that a flex for you or a flex for them? Because you could pretty easily convert that into a flex on them. It was, I mean, it was whatever. Like, math was something I was just good at. So it was it was just something that... Mm. You did not convert the power you had over them. I see. No, no, it was just a, it was just like a, like, mm. I'm tr for me, it was just like a, I like teaching and I like helping people. So I didn't mind. Uh... Yeah, we get it. You're altruistic. Anyway, so one time I was flipping uh, fake burger. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's good. Uh, I literally, I dropped neuro. This is a true story. I got in for neuroscience, and before I even got my first class, uh, <laughs> Trump got elected, and I was like, oh, I should do something. Like, a fire has been lit in my soul, and if I don't go try and help people, I think I'm going to go to whatever my version of hell is. Like, whatever atheist hell is, I think I'm going to go there if I don't try and do some good for the world. <laughs> so I threw out my whole major, and here I am. But, um, so my first ever job, I'm 16. Oh, wait. Right. I can't believe you. Are we both going to be gunner? No, I was fine with it. Could you uh, please hurry yeah, up? I want to try out this new I thought No, I no, no, then I'll go scout. I'll go scout. I get it. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 new gun on, new gun on engineer, I mean. All right, fine. No. My ass is coming back. Hurry up! I ain't going to so you can play Anyway, so I'm 16, and I got the job by wearing my Boy Scout shirt, because I thought that was being responsible. Really tactical fucking play from the 16-year-old here. Um... <laughs> It was like 8.25 an hour, and I, they had me do everything. Basically everything but make the bagels. Um, and it was rough. A lot. And my job started at like 7 a.m., and it ended at like 2 or 3. And while those hours suck, they're also Wait, kind over of... Over the summer or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. They also said, by the way, you sh you're going to have to keep this job. You can't just do it over the summer. And I went, yes, of course. And then I dump that fucking job. Because <laughs> I'm here for quick money, baby. Yeah, that's right. I was paid $8 an hour. I was rolling in it. Woo! I sat in an air-conditioned room and taught kids math. And sometimes it was just algebra. So I just looked at it. And sometimes I got to play games with the kids. Yeah, I, I know we all had equally tough 
sometimes. So uh, it's cool. It's just so stupid. Why is that? I don't understand. Yeah, I used to just like steal um all the bagels and all the cream cheese that I could. That's awesome. That was my. Oh. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. You got your best bud right here. You're fine. I am going to fall. No, I'm not. Um, oh, you're gonna lightly be dropped. It's fine. <laughs> you have to kill three dreadnoughts? That is a lot. That's a bit more than usual, my guy. Like 50% bit more. I just picked up whatever mission you had to do next. Oh, that's very nice of you. And now we're gonna suffer the consequences. I did not think this through. It's it's cool. We're just in a giant irradiated zone. <laughs> we should at least get our first set of nitro before we uh, crack this thing. I'm thinking. Um, my second job was. Uh, oh, what's my second job? Were you my second job? I got was like developing some software. I didn't get paid that much actually for that one. Mm. Uh, but I don't really care. It was a good experience. And then my third job paid me like what was it? it was like 23 bucks an hour to write software and dude it was software was not hard to write so it it was like, welcome to the good lie <laughs> it, was, it was my first introduction to how software engineering could be sometimes where you're like you get paid really well and you don't like it doesn't actually take that much time and effort so you're just like oh i finished what is supposed to be two weeks worth of work in three days. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna sit here now. <laughs> That's like, on one hand, capitalism pretty cringe. On the other hand, some jobs in capitalism, pretty fucking easy. I don't know, man. Maybe this kicks ass. Yeah, that's... I, see, I would have it another way, but I'm glad that I can, I can I, uh, use the system. I had an bit. old, like, one of the best teachers I ever had. Uh, he was, I disagree with him extremely politically. Mm -hmm. I think, probably, almost certainly. But um, <laughs> what's fun about him is he was like, yeah, you don't understand, like, college works. It works really well. It just works for three jobs. Like, <laughs> go be a lawyer go be an engineer or go be a doctor and it's like and that'll work like <laughs> it's just all these other ones that are a complete waste of your money Next order is wrong, suckers. this is a high school bitch. no 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 this was a professor in college <laughs> he was a Wait, he was a was legal studies guy he was the guy who was like go to law school it's free money he was like i used to be a roofer that shit sucks don't be a roofer. He's like, I was gonna break my back at 50. And he was like, instead I sit in air conditioned rooms and get paid double. Yeah. I was just asked if I got my law application in. First of all, that's entrapment. And second of all, much business. <laughs> I have a law application that I need to send in, but I keep rewriting my freaking like essay. Oh, I see. I'm on like my fourth edit of it. like. Do you, do you use Grammarly or something like that? For no, your I essays? use myself again. I just look at it later and I'm like. Just... I see, because you're good at English and not bad at it. So you can't relate. Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm doing it purely for vibe. I'm not checking it for, like, grammar. My grammar's oh. perfect. I'm a boss ass bitch. We've gone over this. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that. No, but yeah, like, that's not using my focus. It's, uh. Oh yeah, also my sister is now a lawyer, so I I'm, I just need to pester her to look at it and make oh it pretty. So you, you're a lawyer family. Yeah, we uh, there are zero lawyers in the family, and now there's going to be two. Holy shit, okay, let's go. Yeah, there was a joke my I told my parents, and they were like, haha, it's funny because you're su going to be successful. Uh, but I was like, you guys never put pressured us to get any jobs or anything. You were just like, please get a good education. And for a bit there, it looked like she was going to be a lawyer and I was going to be a doctor. I mean, in the end, I'm still going to be a lawyer. Which is like, that's, that's pretty good money. That's the way you want to do it. They, they really lucked out. 
on the yeah. whole, not gonna pressure them at all and just hope to see what happens. That's, yeah, that's kind of epic, actually. But, uh, yeah, do you okay. feel like, so they just said good grades, right? They didn't, they didn't. They, well, my mom was like, yet. do your goddamn homework. Because, okay. like, a big thing for them was like, I don't really care if you do bad on tests, because that just, like, that shit's hard. But homework's free? You dumb idiot, it's free points, and you're not accepting them. What's wrong yeah. with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, anyway, you know, I did homework once I was in college, because I could set my own schedule, and suddenly I was like, oh, I don't want to just, like, faint. Because <laughs> I, I, I got to go to class at 11 a.m. when my brain's actually awake. See, I'm always curious, like, what, what parenting strategies work for different kids. Because, like, I've noticed that some kids are really autonomous, and they're basically, like, you, you just give them, like, you give them, like, uh like food shelter and then make sure that they 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 never have to think about like uh, stuff like that or like clothes and they'll just like do everything and then some kids need like nudge like slight nudging sure some but kids like just need everything. also those kids need everything players be charging because okay i have a i've i have no idea if i've ever told you this hot take i think all humans are complete blank slates pretty much at birth Sure, your brain can be different, but like not that much, really. And so, I think the the more you screw up early in their life, the more you have to make up for it later sure. by like not from like by having to provide extra resources and stuff. And like, of course, this doesn't work if like the kid's mentally handicapped or like I don't know they they have a perfectly smooth actual brain. Like, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. There's not enough wrinkles in there, but like. I don't know. I feel like those kids who need that extra help, more often than not, the reason why they need the extra help is that, like, Come here. well, it's because they missed it already when it was, like, the path was supposed to be a little easier. Mm -hmm. And the parents were unable to provide it. I'm not blaming the parents. I'm usually blaming, like, you know, having the like money that. to provide. But, like, Players, recharging. having the kids really expensive because you have to, like, make sure they're, like, alive and in a shelter and all that. But also you need to have the money to, like, do bullshit enrichment. Like, it was all the BS enrichment as a kid. You're gonna crack... The rock cracker's gonna start the thing. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna drop this for ammo real quick. I did not think this through. Oh my god, it just missed. It purposely oh missed it, even though it was directly underneath. Well-made oh, game. Thank god. Um, anyway, so my entire philosophy about kids, this, this is like good dwarf talk. Uh, don't stand a chance against them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, have a, I have a very genuine belief that like, yeah, if you're able to pump your kid with like cool shit, like I liked learning because learning was cool as hell. Like, yeah, I went to the Franklin Institute, I went to the zoo, I went to all this. And I was like, weird, why do I have all this like natural interest in this stuff? Because it wasn't natural. My parents, they tricked me into thinking this stuff was cool by showing me that it was cool. Like, <laughs> that's how it works. And it worked. Yeah, it's and it's freaking epic. No, that's like, that's how you do it. And suddenly your kid's gonna be like, yeah, I don't know why I really like dancing. It's like, you little idiots. Because I showed you songs really young, and I was like, look how cool it is that these people dance. Like, isn't this cool? Like, like you should try it. And like, I supported it. Or like, you did art as a kid, and I put it up on the fridge. And weirdly enough, you're like, oh, weird that this thing that in my entire childhood made me have good feelings, I like want to do more. It's like, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I think that's there. There's a level. There's definitely a level of that too, of like how much exposure a kid gets. Right. Like, I'm sorry, but you're not gonna be an art kid if you never are able to do art and it, you've never had a good experience with it ever like no you're gonna be like well no that shit sucks ass like i hate it why would i do that so how do you what do you think of like the rebellious um the rebellious stage of kids well so i didn't really have one you didn't have one not really like i mean like you know i went and smoked weed with my friends and shit but like I didn't yeah, also like say baby. F you to my parents and stuff. I just was like, I held some secrets from them. Like that. Huh? 
and are connected. And Please. they were, and they pretended not to good? piece together how high I was. And that was, <laughs> that was the deal, you know? They were like, you really shouldn't be high. And I was like, uh -huh. blast it out of my mind. And they're like, it's a good thing you aren't right now staring me down. And I'm like, uh-huh. Get ready. The bugs are like this. You know, they're not dumb, they know. They fucking know. But again, I mean, all of this is like caveated on like, you know, is your kid pretty neurotypical? Because if they aren't, then you also have to do the extra resources. Like, my kid's dyslexic, so we have to have like, or the ADHD thing I've learned about where if you're ADHD, if you bold the first half of like words, it, it's easier to read because you can focus on them better or something. Like, oh, really? if you have to pay to get books that are like that, yeah, you're gonna have, that's gonna cost more money. But like, also, sure. it's gonna make the kid have a greater interest in reading that, that you're putting that extra effort in, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, kids are a it's product of their parents and the resources that they are provided. On. Yeah, 100%. And then that, that of course, that becomes, I can thousand percent agree with. you know, it becomes less and less true the older you are. Cause by the time I'm 12, I had like opinions. They weren't good ones or well thought out, but like, I was as much a product of my friends as I was like myself at that point. Yeah, that's that, that would have been my, my biggest caveat is like, I think who you end up being friends with as you grow up also really factors into like- It's huge, and this. like, parents get a lot less control over that than their yeah. own kid, where it's just, it's like, yeah, sorry, your kid likes soccer a lot, so he's stuck with some soccer guy. Oh my God, it blew up and now we have the fight. Okay. I think it's cool that the game once is dead. I, mean, I think that's sick, us, actually. Something like that. Yeah, I'm starting to think they don't like us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this weapon is really good against these things. This upgraded weapon is insane because it auto locks and it guarantees uh, a critical hit. That's cracked. Yeah, with like negative effort, it's pretty insane. Hey, hey, stop that. I don't even accidentally waste bullets because let me auto lock on that. Okay, yeah, this is the one I want to shoot because it's harder to kill. Oh. Ow. You okay there, bud? Uh, yeah, remember that thing where we talked about not getting inside of them? Yeah, I'm inside Well, okay, of them. if they j jump onto us, that's not our fault. Okay, where's the arbalist? Arbalist needs to blow up before he heals his friend. I think we're doing a pretty good job of splitting the damage. Okay, I'm gonna reload while they definitely heal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even that much health. They're so angry. Oh, you know what? Nope, can't blow him up. Where's his friend? Oh, uh, on the ceiling, on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. One down. Nice. Easy pickings. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Bye, idiot. Nice. That was a little preemptive on the bye, idiot, but it worked. Like, I, I, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I really, I saw, like, my friends at video games. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, always really interested in the fact that we didn't really... Like, my parents really didn't give me any video games until I was a little bit older. Um, and then I was, I took a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. So it was like, that's why when you were like, oh, it's like the exposure, I'm like, in my mind, I was just thinking, oh, like, you know, your, your friends end up being such an influential part of like, just like Huge. little things. Well, I mean, also like, especially if your parents feel like you can trust, like, they're like, oh, you make good choices with friends. That's huge mm -hmm. for parents, because now it's like, I think that's one of the big things that parents seem to like stop kids. Like when I hear about like overprotective parents, it's like, oh, it's because your kid sucks at choosing friends. Like, yeah, you're right. Some yeah. of these kids suck. <laughs> true, true, true. It's like, I can see where you're trying to stop them from hanging out with them. It's like, it's like, oh no. I don't know when you screwed up, but like, his one soccer friend sucks and is super racist or something. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know how to teach my kid like, the nuances of why this kid sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, how do you, hey, how do you tell a kid your friend is freaking racist? Probably sure, I mean, no, I had too. right. I had this <gasps> wild uh, come to Jesus moment. So I had like neighborhood friends, mm -hmm. and I stopped hanging out with my neighborhood friends because I was like, hey, like, y'all keep trying to have these jokes that are. I, I've started to learn not funny, and in fact, just you trying to say something bad. You know, real South Park humor. Where it's yeah. like, isn't it funny how the joke is that I think I have repressed issues with women? And it's like, what? <laughs> What'd you just say? Accidentally? Yeah. Mega self-deprecating humor, but in a way that's that, that, oh, that not says more. For sure, yeah, self-deprecating the way I'm like, oh, you might want to jump off this mortal coil. And... Yeah. That's not great. Hot take. <laughs> the most lukewarm take I've ever heard out of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm filled with them today. Real lukewarm take. Um, anyway, you want to crack open this bad boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's crack open the Kinder Egg. Crack and open a giant one. Actually, I should wait for this turret to go through. Okay, I'll, I will also wait. He is one swing away, though, so. All right, go ahead. Crack and open a big omelet. I hate this one. This one's the worst one. Okay, so we have to kill his friends that spawn in? Yeah. Where are you running, punk? I'm so bad, my dude. Okay, he spawned his friends over there. And this is the exact issue. I cannot lock onto these fucks for whatever reason. Oh. There we go. Okay, I've been gooped, but it's fine. There we go. Alright, yeah, now he's cracking open. Honestly, this is such a small spot, it kind of works. Okay, I'm putting this down. Put it in his butt. Oh my god. He's flipped. Okay, we gotta leave. We're too close to already. Oh, that could have gone worse. I'm using the super grenades on him, so if you'll notice, uh, just be careful getting near him. I'll, I'll yell when I need. I, I got him. Hang on, you, you're all right. I'm on the other side of them, so I'll, I'll blow them the hell up. Okay, I can. I don't worry. Dash. That's why it's really good. That's a great dash. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I will swear by that ability. It, it's just, it's just I'm crazy. I'm gonna reload before we get into the next part. It's like my turrets aren't shooting it. Like, what the? Damn. All right, all right, stay back, stay back, stay back there. So that way, one side is always open. He's all either right, gonna right, turn right. around, or we get free murder. Okay, maybe both. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, it was pretty good. That's a lot of damage. Alright, we're now both on this side, so he will be coming here. That's fine. Oh, okay. I was just doing a little loop. A little loop. A wee bit of looping. Oh, I'm a little... I'm gonna fill this turret up. Okay, he's up top. Okay, before we complete, I gotta reload. So the big boy, and then I can help finish this off. Okay, ready. Where the hell is it? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way so he looks at me. Yep. It was worth Ooh, it. No! What the fuck? I wasn't even low HP. Bro, I wasn't. I was so far away from you. I was on the other side. He hit us both. I saw where you went down. You were not even close to me. He I shot rocks at both of us. I think, I think it was an AOE that goes around everywhere, like a, like an earthquake move. It wasn't the earthquake move though, because there wasn't spikes out of the ground. It was something else. No, there was like little raised things. Oh really? I exploded. Oh. Oh. We were, so, but you were incredibly far away. I was away. so far, dude. I was so confident I we feel, were good. I feel like 
Oh, you're like, shit. I think it was just bad luck. Man, I don't have time for another one, dude. I got food. Shit. That's so tragic. Well, F this, we're playing match game next time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could I'm actually. I'm Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely on board. Let's All do right. it. We'll, we'll do uh, Magicka now, uh, and then we'll uh, Magicka next time. We'll see how far we get through. We'll probably beat it, and then we can always come back to this afterwards. I mean, yeah, this is still this a great could be game. Our interim game or something like that. Absolutely. You know, I mean, this, this, is, this is a good ass game. True, true, true. True. Uh, I'm just a big update. Gonna slam that end button. That's right, folks. It's over, which means, oh no, what are you ever gonna do? Well, the first thing you're gonna do. Is follow us here at twitch.tv slash Ibrox Studio. Ibrox Studio, we play games or something. Um, you can also check us out on Twitter. It's still High Frog Studio. It's Twitter still exists somehow. And <laughs> if you're curious about like how we got so good and strong and like never fail at this game, you can check out sure. our VODs actually at youtube.com slash High Frog Studio. In fact, if you go over there, you can also see Harsh and all of his content. Harsh, uh, where they where can they find you? Yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Harshamondo or Harshamondo in that YouTube search button, uh, search bar. True. I mean, it's a button because you do click it in the end. That Many is true. Many people are saying this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only other thing I want to tell folks is that you could please check out some of the stuff we've made for Pathfinder, which is basically D&D. Um, we decided to make the game more... I have more choices and options in it through first heroic crafting where we make crafting a system instead of like a thing that's there uh and our counterspell codex where we just make counterspelling like this fun interesting mechanic we basically have like a gunslinger one-on-one -on -one dual guy but for magic uh highly recommend checking that out and uh yeah also go into our tiktok tiktok.com slash high frog studio the only thing i want to let you guys know is that uh 100% of dwarves that don't rock and stone are absolute leaf lovers, and they shall be murdered. Okay, bye. Bye.